So Lil Yachty. Let's talk about him. Now for Yachty fans directly, I'm not talking to y'all. So I don't want to see any, oh, he's been hard. He's been making good music. I don't care. We're talking about mainstream today. And today I want to talk about how Lil Yachty's rap career might end up playing out just like Lil Durk's. Of course, not exactly. But listen up. Yachty started rapping in 2015. That's eight years ago. And Yachty has tried a lot of different things throughout his journey. Yachty's always made good music. I'm not arguing that. But the mainstream has not always been with him. The mainstream was backing up Yachty in 2016 and 17 when he was dropping I Spy, One Night, Broccoli, but soon it would become evident that he was getting overshined by his fellow rap colleagues. I have a whole video on Lil Yachty's rap career, and as we know, Yachty came up in 2016. He was in the 2016 XXL class. A year after, it was played by Cardi XXX in the 2017 XXL class. We were also being introduced to artists like Juice World. Yachty's own label had Lil Baby starting to take off major, and this resulted in Yachty trying to find his sound. He experimented quite a bit, and although getting a few hits on TikTok or some semi-viral songs, it seemed like until recently, people did not respect Yachty as a rapper. Now, although he's been rapping for so long, the reason I say people are finally starting to respect him, it all starts with the relationship he's built with Drake. As funny as that sounds, Drake is a walking viral post. Anything he does gets attention. So right off the bat, in 2020, when I seen Yachty in the Life Is Good music video, and he started building that friendship with Drake, and it just became stronger and stronger. We seen that interview he just did with him. Doing that type of shit and getting more involved in the social media aspect to an artist's fame, well like I said with his music never being bad, this helped people get back onto him. But even more than that, with that friendship he's built with Drake, I'm not sure if he took some notes but he's had that new flow and I swear to god that could be responsible for the second coming of Lil Yachty. Did you guys hear that AMP freestyle he just dropped? I can't play it cause copyright but that shit is fire and that type sound is what I'm talking about. Now let me slow down give you some context and then I'll get into the Lil Dirt comparison. After he dropped that walk in Poland song that wasn't actually fire like people were vibing with it cause it was funny but that unlocked a new lane for Lil Yachty and he's just been going stronger and stronger down that. Now he still has a lot of music to make and I'm talking about the potential he has but so far we've seen that strike shit song which went stupid his feature on rilo's album went stupid and that amp feature all went stupid because we know he had his own flow in 2016 17 one night broccoli everybody knew what lil yachty sounded like although he kind of lost touch with that a little bit and yachty finding his own style and dropping all these new type sounding singles and shit is what could single-handedly revive his career just like lil dirk peaking after 10 years although there's a lot more to them that's similar than just both of them taking off rapping years after they came out they both popped off with viral songs in a time where rap was still establishing and actually had some good hype for a little bit. You know Dirk was running shit with Dej Loaf for a minute and Yachty in 2016 was untouchable, although both of their runs were pretty short lived. And while Dirk's very open about how the label did that to him, Yachty in a way blames the label but not entirely like it's their fault but you have to understand Yachty signed with QC, that's the Migos, Lil Baby, Yachty is nothing like those artists but he came up in a time period where he was just trying to fit the trends, do what people are gonna fuck with, and he was really just trying to appeal to the same fan base as them, but that was never him as an artist. And while both artists had to play the sideline for a minute, one thing they both did that is a key factor in both of them having insane comebacks to their career is build relationships. I already talked about the Drake and Yachty one, which is the single-handed most important relationship any artist could have, but Dirk himself has a relationship with Drake, and some will argue that the Laugh Now Cry Later feature is what made Dirk go to the next level. Now let me just tell you, that's not the truth though. The truth is, Dirk did what Yachty's doing right now. If you listen to Dirk's tapes from 2017, 18, and 19, he put in work. He established his own sound, you can hear him evolve. Once you get to that 2020 tape, just cause y'all waited too, it seemed like he had just fully found who he is as an artist. The same way that Yachty is finding who he is right now with that striker shit type flow. Now Yachty hasn't done what Dirk did. I'm not gonna sit here and say that Yachty's going to do what Dirk did, although I think it's possible that if Yachty drops a solid tape that gets over 50k sales, he hasn't got over 50k sales in a very long time, and to me, where we're at in modern day rap, above 50k sales is a true mainstream artist, cause nowadays, artists who I thought were mainstream are selling like 30k, so to hear that Lil Yachty could sell like 50k on his next project, and maybe it has a Drake feature, has a lot of that flow that he did in that AMP freestyle, and he just overall just sounds like himself that I think he could really have one of the best comebacks in this generation of rap. He's still like 25 or 26. That's how old Lil Baby was when it was 2020. Like, that's not too old for a rapper. And with Yachty and Dirk, I think they showed how valuable it is to still make plays even if you're not on the field. They both had kind of lost their hype, but they didn't panic because the relationships they built 
and establishing themselves as an artist at the same time, it will all pay off. Now, I hope Yachty could do what Dirk did. Nobody would have guessed that Dirk got as big as he did. And I really want to see Yachty have a year that's bigger than his first year when he came out. And we know Yachty has the image. And he just did an interview with that blonde girl who's everywhere. So people are just starting to really attach to his character more and more. I'm excited to see how his next project does. But we're going to have to let time tell. It's been your boy Ten Toes. And I'll catch you, boys, man. Stay blessed.